generally you'll find it in food, in uh, vegetable oils. Um, yeah, like if you had diabetes, would you go for one type of vitamin E versus if you had cardiovascular disease? Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kitty Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kygenesis and the Kidney Coach and co-author of Kidney Disease Solution. And I'm joined today by the beautiful Emily Carhill. Emily is a registered nurse. She works in a large cardiovascular slash neurological ward here in Melbourne, Australia. So thanks again for joining me today, Emily. Thanks for and having me. I think, no worries. And I think today we're talking about the amazing vitamin that is vitamin E, right? Mm. I'm just going to hand it across. Hand it over. Um, so vitamin E, I feel like, doesn't get um, the attention that it deserves. Um, yeah, but it's so basically it's the fat soluble vitamin. It's something that our body can't make itself, so it's something that we need to get from either food or supplemental sources. Generally, you'll find it in food, in uh, vegetable oils, um, nuts and seeds, um, barley, wheat germ. And then obviously we can take it as a supplement as well. The thing about vitamin E that probably isn't, I guess, widely understood is that it's not just one molecule. So vitamin E is actually made up of eight different what are called isomers. Um, so we've got four tocopherols and we've got four tocotrienols. But what you'll find if you are supplementing generally with vitamin E is that you're supplementing with alpha tocopherol. And the reason for that really is because that was the first form of vitamin E that they discovered. So that was discovered back in the 1920s. It is the form of vitamin E that is the most abundant in our body tissues. Um, and so then they obviously started doing a whole lot of research using alpha tocopherol. But then I think it was around the 1960s that they actually found um, that vitamin E also contains tocotrienols. Um, and they then started to have started to be researched. So there's not as much research on the tocotrienols as the tocopherols, which is why most supplements will just contain alpha tocopherol. But what we're seeing into the research with vitamin E is that you are better off, if you can, um, taking a supplement that has both the tocopherols and tocotrienols, or at least taking a supplement that contains all of the tocopherols. Um, so the four isomers of the alpha of the vitamin E tocopherols. Is, is there a difference between, you know, like you said, the different forms of vitamin E? Is Have they researched to show that is one better at doing the antioxidant versus the anti-inflammatory? Um, you know, because you were saying you need to take both. Is there, yeah. do they have stronger actions in each one? Or like if you had diabetes, would you go for one type of vitamin E versus if you had cardiovascular disease? Yeah, so they are starting to look at that um, a bit more specifically, but what they seem to be, have found so far is that it's actually the tocotrienols that are more highly antioxidant than the tocopherols, mm -hmm. um, which is different from what was they always thought, as it was always yeah. sort of perceived as alpha tocopherol was the antioxidant. Mm -hmm. um, but it actually seems to be the tocotrienols. So in terms of um, wanting to benefit antioxidant, uh, yeah, wanting antioxidant benefits, the tocotrienols seem to be better. They also seem to be better in terms of cancer, um, so cancer prevention. And also um, for people um, with cancer and um, and the liver, they, that seems to be what the research is showing, showing so far. Um, then in terms of, and actually also uh, for cholesterol as well. So one of the things that they've found a difference between tocopherols to tocotrienols is that tocotrienols can actually lower cholesterol levels as well as preventing oxidation of cholesterol. Whereas mm -hmm. alpha toco tocopherols, yes, they can prevent that oxidation, um, but they don't have seem to have any beneficial effect on um, lowering levels of LDL or increasing a, um, HDL or lowering triglycerides. It's the trochotrienols that have that benefit. All right, Emily, thank you. So if you've liked this information, make sure you give us a like and a thumbs up. Um, if you want to hear more about um, any new um, videos that we put out, if you hit subscribe, you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. 
If you want to know more about what we do, you can head over to www.kidneycoach.com and there you'll find um, all the information about the supplements that we've made for specifically for kidney disease that are based off the program, you, um, the Kidney Disease Solution, which was written by Duncan and myself. And if you need to reach out to us, you can hit us up at support at kidneycoach.com and either the beautiful Emily or Rachel, our other fully qualified naturopath, will get back to you. Um, you can also go and find us on Facebook. We're just www.facebook.com forward slash kidney coach. And we, we post on there every day. You can be part of our community and we'd love to see you on there. So hopefully you found this useful and we look forward to seeing you next time. And thank you for being part of our community. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Emily, for all your information too. Bye. <laughs> Bye.